today we're here at the Civic Centre in Keithley, which is now a museum about the police force. This is an ex-police station, so we have old cells and faked cells, but we have a really old Black Mariah, which is in fact a horse-drawn carriage. We've been here before, we had activity, so fingers crossed this should be good. The building is more of a museum now and has changed since we last went. It's easy to get lost in the corridors as they all look the same and part of the display was a mannequin which pretty much made us jump every time we went around this corner, not expecting it. The horse drawn Black Mariah had moved but um, still on site luckily. So the only other people in the building was one person who opened up for us and was doing cleaning while we worked. Uh, we did hear a big bang from above us. We started downstairs in the cells. Uh, Sai was drawn in this area, so it seemed as good a place as any to start. The cleaner who opened up for us was working, and it was hard to not put noises that we heard onto her. But when we looked for her, we found that she wasn't where we thought. We heard bangs from upstairs, but that wasn't her. She was downstairs for the past quarter of an hour. Can everybody just introduce herself as well? Because um, I've asked spirits to do some things to certain people. Okay. Alright, well, I'll, 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 I'll start and we'll go on Megan. Spirit knows who it is. So, my name's Chris. My name's Megan. I'm Jill. I'm Lucy. I'm sorry, Superintendent, sorry. <laughs> I'm Fliss. I'm Krisha. I'm Tom. I'm Beth. So, spirits, we, we are looking for you to come forward tonight and just give us some evidence, just interact with us. Uh, you're allowed to touch us, you're allowed to push us, make us feel cold. Uh, if you want to slap anyone and you're angry, take it out on me and Lucy. Um, oh, if you want. No, yeah, yeah. sorry. So yeah, we're happy with strong physical attacks. We'd love it, in fact. We invite you to, we challenge you to do that. Um, but as I say, we are here with respect. We're not gonna do anything to you. So if there's anything, any spirits here right away which want to make ourselves known on the meters or audibly or anything, please do so. So that's not my mic, is it? Well, that's not my... Uh... If oh, it's a spirit that's uh, making that little grey box go click, can you go a little bit nearer to it? Can you see if you can make it click even more? Need a bit more than that. I mean, it shouldn't be getting more, should it? Unless Ben's equipment is that far. Just do a test, Ben, and see how close you need to get. Oh. Yeah, so it's just the camera oh, okay. a foot away or something. What about this other one? Any chance of making these lights go up? On the one on the bench, the bed, behind you? I mean, that shouldn't be... Thank you, that would great. Shouldn't be doing that. That's great, thank you. You've got the hang of that. Can you get up any further? How about trying to light the lights on the other grey box? This one here is a grey deal. No, is it? Is that my mic though? No, okay. Can we do that again on this box here? You've got it right to yellow. This one here. If you shout really loud, the 
people with these head things on should be able to hear your voice. Has anyone brought torches with them? You got torches on your phone and yeah. stuff anyway. Because I wouldn't mind asking them to go the lights out. We could go up. Is that the voice? We could go up. Could go up. Could go up. I had a voice. I had a voice. I had something. I don't know whether it was my shield, I'm not sure. It sounded like a woman. Like a female voice. Yeah, could it be the person that's still working here now? I, I think she said she'd be upstairs. Um, could, it, could have been a shield. I, I had a female voice. We'll definitely listen back to that. That would have thought, but again, we've got one person not here. Can we ask if that was a female voice? Could you do that again for us? I'm really confident it is. Yeah. It'd be constant, wouldn't it? It'd be constant, and obviously we've tested it with Ben's equipment. Can you see if you could get that one by the door to go higher, please? See if you could get it to go up to the next light. It's fantastic, thank you. See how high you could get that light to go up on that gauge there? You did really well getting the yellow on the way. Can you go any, any higher? So if you could get the yellow one again, concentrate as hard as you can. And see if you can get the yellow one to light up again. Really appreciate you trying. Must be hard. Fantastic. Fantastic. Brilliant. That's really, really good. Really, really good. Can you try to get that even higher? I know I'm asking a lot of you. Oh, yeah. Right, the cells are off, the hallway's off. So if you could get that up even higher, please. Right, yeah, hallway's off. Oh, cells are on. Cells are on. <laughs> Fantastic, that's really good. Really, really good. It's almost like you're waiting and charging yourself and, and then letting it go in a burst. Is that what you're doing? If that's what you're doing, can you just flash the light now so we know that that's the case? Can you move this hallway off? Flash the light now. Can you turn this hallway off? I don't think there'll be people who've had a lot of bad news here. Mm -hmm. uh, there were the cells upstairs. Uh, so people would be sentenced upstairs and then brought down here. So there's got to be a lot of emotion. Yeah. And a lot of... You know, like troubled on. energy. I'd have thought so. Um, and I'm sure police officers have seen th things in here that weren't very nice. I mean, these are the suicide cell lower down. Yeah. Um, and basically, uh, even though they had CCTV, there had to be an officer sat outside looking through the doors of that cell 24 hours a day. Yeah. to make sure that nobody were damaging themselves. Mm. So it can't have been a, a, a great energy, but a lot of the ex-police officers that I know, when you speak to them, they think a great deal about the job and they miss the job. Yeah. So perhaps, you know, certainly the cells itself, but the, the place, the fabric of the building could hold some good memories for Yeah, where they climbed the officers. career ladder and stuff in the... Where they yeah. help people, yeah. where they nailed people who've done something wrong, mm -hmm. where they actually, you know, pay, got somebody to pay back to society for for hurting somebody or doing something, you know, that must be a rewarding part of the job. Mm. Um, Ryan says, is there any spirits maybe trapped here that were falsely accused? Quite possibly, that's another, that's a good question. Is there any spirits here that were perhaps sentenced upstairs or falsely accused of something that they didn't do. If they is, you've got plenty of equipment here, flash a light or 
make the gauss click even louder. That was Ben. Yeah, that was Ben for the recording. Gauss is off again. I was thinking that question. Wow. I was thinking that I might get a reaction. So if you ask anyone in prison if they're falsely accused, they're going to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Prisons are always full of innocent people. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, so it's female. Hello, madam. Thank you for joining us. Could we um, ask your name, if you're comfortable to give that to us? L. I. L. Why? Hello. Nice to meet you, Lily. I'm Lucy. I'm Megan. Can I see you? I'm Fliss. And I'm seat. Tom. Do you want me to get you a seat? No. Could you tell us how old you are? It's up to you whether Sorry, you want to see. Something. Sorry, Lucy. It's alright. Sorry, it keeps really going up to. You yeah. are. It's not you. Is your phone on? No, I don't have a phone Zero. on. Lovely. Um, so, just so that we can establish when you were alive, could you tell us what year you died? It's around you. <laughs> I've got a flash of you. Chris. One. Yeah. Stop. Nine. Zero. Zero. Six. 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 Because mm -hmm. I never know when they say their age, whether they mean, like, how old they were when they died, or how old they'd be now? Breath. Yeah. Um, so I got a breath. Lily, could you tell us your last name? It just really helps us afterwards, so that we can see if we can find you anywhere in any newspapers. See. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I think V. I think V, yeah. yeah. So what have we got? C or V? V. E. e. That's not right. That's strange, no. That's not right. What? Lily, Lily Cove's a yeah. balloonist in yeah. Howard that died. I don't know when she died though. What was that say? Have you been for Yeah. I know what by a grave all the time. Why? What's Jill Tag him say? Lily Cove. She's put Lily Cove um, Why? Howard. Why one, nine, hmm. zero. Six. Yeah, nine, nine. I think we need to do 1906 again. Oh, yeah. She died, I think she was saying 1906 again. So is this somebody who you know? No. No. No, she's just a famous person in Haworth. Well, she was a travelling uh, balloon act. Yeah, she died in Haworth. So she was hot air ballooning, fell. Oh. Uh -huh. Cove, C-O-V-E. Cove, C-O-V-E. Did it say how old she was? 21. No, 20. 
And then it said 19 or 6. And then she went to yes when you were talking about who she was. Really cool when you were doing the caption, but the 19 or 6 power for gala. <laughs> 19 or 6, that's what it said. Yeah. It said 19 or 6. To her harness, she was to a scond in a gas filled pot. Blue, 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 blue. Yeah, she's saying, yeah. Yeah, okay, Lily, I believe it's you. Believe it's you. Do you mind if I ask a couple of questions? No. Fan Fantastic, thank you. Was it an accident? That's me. Yeah. Are you trying to convince you? S. C. A. R. Scar. E. Scared. Are you scared of us? W. She was terrified of water, she was. Was she? She, 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 she unharnessed herself. herself and she, she went over the reservoir because she didn't want to drown. So she fell to her death there. Oh my god. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Honestly. I've never even heard of this place <laughs> so. do, you, do you know what hotel or establishment that took your body to? W. H. I T E White Right. That's enough, it's okay, I believe you. Lily. Oh. No, she's doing it. Okay. I O N. Lily. Do you know the date of your second attempt? J. U. Uh, N. June. June. And do you know the what number? The, the day number? Date? No. no. Okay. It was okay. June. Okay. Do you know what day of the week it was, Lily? No. no we don't want to tell okay. you. Okay, that's fine. H. O. Nine? It's like in between. H O O K. Hook. Me can, I, can I ask, Willie, are you here because of a, a person that's been reading about you? Yes. Back to the middle. Is that person in the room? Yes. Uh, is that person on the board? Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> that is... Can you take your hand off the glass? Yeah. yeah. Lily, what was your dad's name? L. O. N. D O N. Yeah, that's where your dad lived. 
But what was his name? P. A. P. <laughs> Papa. Have you come here especially? Yes. Did you hear us? Yes. Have you seen Chris visit your grave then? Yes. H I L L Hill. Yeah, she buried on, on a hill. It is on a hill. Oh, she buried at Topper Howarth Cemetery. Yeah. yeah. Where the Bronte passed. Yes, what year she was born? <laughs> well, leave it to you to ask me, were you making our equipment go off earlier? Yes. And have you followed us here? <laughs> I think she's. Have you followed Chris here? Yes. So have you been researching this person? Mm. And I want my grave to speak to her. Oh. <laughs> Was there a man involved in your life? Was the man who had the balloon involved with you? No. Did he want to be involved with you? Yes. What was his name? No. That's frustrating for us when you say that. Is it, can, can you remember his name? Oh, I would stop a moment. Are you scared to say his name? That's fair enough. M. Y. B. R. A. I. My brain. My brain. B. L E My brain blood. What? I swear my, my hair blood, just moved. My brain blood. Yeah, because she hit her head when she fell. And she hit her head, yeah. Um, Could we ask her where she died? There's not a specific not one you but there's... P. She's like answering without us even asking. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to say. Yeah. It's right. This is what the story says. Pond. E. Pondy. Pond. Pond. Oh, Pond and, Pond like Pond and Mill. Pond and yeah. Reservoir. It's the reservoir she passed over. And it's just as she oh. passed. I've way. never had something that's so... The way I know any of this. I think I've never it's all checked out on the phone straight away. I've, I've never had anything to check out on this before. No. Last thing I've had is a clingless foot. This is so fast, isn't it? Honestly, this is unbelievable. This is... So could she have potentially survived if she had a... This is T. I Second try. Second try. It mm -hmm. was a second try when uh, she died, yeah. Yeah, because they couldn't get any air for the first trip, so she had to wait a few days. And go on the second one. G. No wind. A. S. Gas. I. S. S. 
Y él... Y... Gas issue. Gas issue. Gas issue. Um. Gas issue. That's why the blue won't go up. The red gas issue. Yeah. Do you need to use somebody's energy to make a noise? Yes. Well, yeah. I thought it was a dog cloud. You're happy to use yeah, Lucy's energy? Uh, you can use mine. Or my energy, or Chris's energy, if you if you need any extra energy. Well, there's a big light in the corridor during the battery fill. Whatever you need to do. Okay. Yes. Goodbye. 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 Bye, Bye. Louis. It's like she's just walked over there. <laughs> That's going just, I've never seen anything like that before. I've never, ever. I mean, we've, tr we've been in that cemetery and done yeah. board in that yeah. cemetery and asked for Louis and she hasn't come through. Right. So this is somebody who you've tried to speak to before? Only years and years ago, just because she, she's one of the known characters, one of the... <laughs> she's like very well known in Howarth. She Basically, uh, she was penniless, but everybody clubbed together to give her a burial. And, and oh. it was just like, because she was there to do this daredevil act. You know, to try and earn um, money, I suppose. She were. Oh, it was just. That's. Because the level of detail there was just unbelievable. How much did you know of that time? No, not hardly any of it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know about her, her father being a criminal. I didn't know any of the specific dates. i tell you what has got me is that she said she said she was 20 and it says 21 but she got the date of birth right because we were saying so she were right and it, it'll be the records somehow that are it wrong it says that online yeah, yeah. The, the records yeah. aren't correct yeah. Yeah. yeah tom were you on your finger on and you know i, had, most a, about I had my finger on but i knew i never knew date i didn't know date so you no. you can't so, even have had that in your head no i couldn't did you know it was june no uh, no i didn't have no, a clue about and that. there were definitely no pushing of the past, everyone had their fingers on so lightly. That's just blown me, is that? So I think we're come, all 100% with that, that's good, right? I think that was amazing, amazing. yeah. To, to yeah. Come, come to a police station that's got nothing to do with Lily Cove. Yeah. We're not being funny, but yeah. the last time we... expected to be in The last time we met yeah. and we did a board, we were in the building next to the White Lion. True. Yeah. Also, that okay. That's the white line that she well, mentioned. Yeah. yeah. At the we top were there. in a building right next to it. So the connection here is Krisha. Okay. And you were gonna come that night, weren't you? Yeah. 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 Wow. That's amazing. I've not that heard is. of her because I think whenever I go to Howarth, it's all about the Brontes, isn't it? So yeah. Gauss stopped. Yeah. Gauss has stopped. Yeah. yeah. It's done, done quite well. She might also not want to be around the area where she does. That's true. Very true. Very true. <laughs> That's so that's probably better. She was actually supposed to come here and make a, and have a little week holiday after she did that act. Aww. This was where she was going. Keith was where she was coming for a week to like relax. So maybe it's special days. Yeah, maybe it's like yeah, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with her. Well, I can tell. You, you are. At least well, this. It's amazing because you haven't really heard of it before. So the, the level, that level of detail, that is yeah, just like. So. It, <laughs> Wow. That is amazing. Look, hear my voice come towards our white light. And if you would try and move this table in some way, that would be fantastic, please. Lean it um, in any direction. But multiple spirits can get into this wood just like they got into the planchette. If there's any spirits who recognise my voice from doing this regular, then 
please come and show yourself to us. Uh, if that's you rocking the table, wonderful, thank you. Can you increase the movement? Because we know this table has uneven legs and we would like to just see that we're not pushing it. Come on, please. See, that was it. I felt I was going to twist then. Can you t are you going to try to twist this table? You try to twist it on the spot. I feel that my end was under, yeah. pr under pressure. Come on, yeah, that's great. Do whatever you want to do, but just move it in as, as strong a way as possible. This is such a big room, spirits. It'd be great if you could move us from this position. You can pull it, but yeah. Just make it more violent. We're safe, you're safe. We're protected. Take that energy. We spoke to a great woman Come earlier. On. That was going to cut your way, wasn't it? Yeah. Come on, you're doing great. I feel you're trying, so I so appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, because it's great. <laughs> Come on. So you want, you're, you're more of a twister, eh? You're more of a twister than a tipper, is that right? We're giving you all the energy you need, so please take it. Twist, rock. Get your energy up, that's it. Build up. Come on, spirit. Can you twist it? I thought you were going to have us moving that round here. There you go. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> What's that noise over there? I'm not for me moving. I know you need a bit of a rest, but maybe you can just build up the momentum. Right, so that's not me lifting it for sure. Do we hear you move that with Tom? Can you move it again? Can you lift this no up? Can you leave this a no away from me? Onto two legs, please. Come on, you did it. You lifted it away from me. Oh, you're gonna lift it. That feels like you're lifting towards me, doesn't it? <coughs> Come on. That's two legs, well done. But I want you to get it up so I can move, remove my hands. Come on, spirits. Come on, spirits. Please move this table. Yeah. Put your energy into this wood. There you go. Oh, wow. That's great. You see what I mean? And I don't know what... I don't know why this happens. No. What the f... <laughs> it still shocks me every time. Can you, can you go another direction, spirit? Use my energy or whoever's energy you need. Get into this wood. Move this table. Tip this table another direction. Let's go this way. So go this way towards Ray. Thank you. That's, it. That's excellent. Now you've got the hang of it. Towards Simon again. That's straight away. That's <laughs> quickly. We're going to be waltzing across this room. <laughs> <laughs> It's like on one leg now. Oh, what the heck? Oh, my back. I know. Let me just readjust this so they can see. Spirits, can you move the table towards Simon again? Because he's in the other direction now. It's lifting. That looks like well. Or tip the whole thing over. 
Try and lift it up, all four legs. If you can only manage two for now, that's fine. That's it. Come on, spirits, lift it towards my voice. This way. That's it, follow Chris. Drag it towards this light I'm holding. That's great, do that. Okay, oh. is this a male spirit? No, no. Are you male? D? I? C? Okay. I'm going to have a stab. Is that your name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Richard. Richard, right? I don't think he goes by that, but you go by Dick. This is, I oh know, this is going to get innuendo heavy. Innuendo heavy. Such so, children. Yeah, I mean, seriously. You seem quite fast. How fast can you move around this board, please? H. A. I. Uh, hair. Hair. Hairy. Hairy. <laughs> okay. Any other words of wisdom? Okay, so this is a young spirit, I would say. H. No, I. T. I. <laughs> okay, so we've got a juvenile. I'd say it's from Keith. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? You seem young. Six. Six to nine. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So. I didn't realise how close my numbers were to Have we spoke to you before? No. No. So why have you come through tonight then? Why are you on the board tonight? V. S. O. V S O. Is that a? V S O. Yes. A, no, it's P S O, isn't it? Z. I'm thinking of police rolls. V S O. S. Yes. Very sorry. You're very sorry. Oh, you're saying you're sorry. That's all right. We we all like a laugh. It's not like we we <coughs> tell us your real name now, first name. C. A. R. L. Carl. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for cheering us up as well. We, we did, did that. It was quite, quite amusing. Quite a lot. <laughs> um, why have you come tonight? Are you associated with this building? Is it because of this building you, you're coming through to us tonight? Yes. Were you tried here? Yes. U H I oh, Well, maybe not, I don't know. C I D Suicide. B I Oh wow, well, I'm not getting that at all. No, I won't. You committed suicide here, Carl. Yes. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Is that while you were a, a prisoner here? Yes. Were you in one of the cells when you committed suicide? A. Uh. Uh. M. E. Gauss is going quite a lot. Why? E. 
Oh. Man eyes. A suicide cell where people would watch you. Like if a police oh, officer right, was watching yeah. you. I'd imagine so. So someone watching you and you still managed to do it? Yes. Did they let you do it? Yes. That's horrible. Didn't seem like it working. Can I ask how you did it? H. E. A. D. S. M. A. Head smash. Head smash. Head smash. It's like whacking a girl's head off the wall. Yeah. Mm. Hope there's no traces of blood left over. Mm. Can you tell it's us what year this was? Just glasses over. What year did you die, Carl? Two. Zero. Zero. Two thousand. Was this opening in two thousand? Yeah. It looks older than that. Yeah, no. Really? Yeah, okay, yeah. It was a police station then, wasn't it? It wasn't yeah, his base, yeah, obviously. Yeah, and how old were you when you died? Three. Thirty-four. Can you tell us your last name, Carl? No, that's okay. If one of us comes down to that cell on our own for ten minutes, will you play a prank on us? Yes. I'll do it. Ask him. Can I do it? Will you play a prank on me? Yes. Should I do it? Sure. Do you want me to come down and just see that completely? I'm fine, I'll go down. Um, do you want me to take my night with me? Carl, you still there? I couldn't do it. Yeah. Hello, Carl. I'm Simon. Do you know the name of the person that's gone downstairs? I like to spell it, is it? Do you think you can spell it out for me? <laughs> can you yes, tell us the lady's name that's gone downstairs? Do you know the name of the lady? Um. And the second letter? <laughs> can you play a trick on them for us? Carl, were you with me earlier when I was in your cell? Yes. Did you hear what I asked to be done to Lucy and Chris? D. I'm really sorry for what happened to you. Can you make a knock on the inside of this cell? Can you make yourself known? Can you do that again? I've got to leave your base so that you can go and concentrate on those two downstairs. But whatever you do to them, we make sure if you prod them or 
you make a noise, it's on their left hand side, on their left hand side, so their left hand or left ear or left leg. Can you do that? Yes. Not the right, it has to be the left. Is that quite clear for both of them? Yes. Right, do you need to go downstairs to do that now? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll leave you to it. Did you really want to die? What was that? Someone just laughed, evil. Was that you who laughed? Fuck off. That says Carl on that door. That says Carl. K A R L. On the door. Is there any spirits here at the moment? <coughs> Stop. Was that genuinely Lily Cove that came through on the board? Stop. Is that last person's name really Carl? No, I didn't think it were either. <laughs> Stop. This is me, Lucy. Oh, I did wonder. What's that name on the door? Oh, that massive one. Well, oh, yeah. There is an A, but it looks like K, A. V, R, L. V, R, L. But it's written in, like, even that's giant note. Yeah, I don't know. I think it is Carl, but it, it had a C upstairs on the bottom. It did, it did. I th the only thing that's putting me off is that. Yeah. It would be Carl if that one. Or if they joined it up, because they've joined the other letters, haven't they? Yeah, it looks like just a fanciful design, doesn't it? Yeah. But that is the most prominent. You can easily get the, the wrong spelling of Carl out of that. Yeah. Is that extreme up there? Yeah. Um, I've heard some noises, but I didn't know if it... Like, I heard you whistle. Yeah, and then I heard you realise I whistled, so I thought, oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Lily, if you come back, give us a tip. Can you reply to us? Can you finish the sound? Finish the knocking? Did you have? I heard a, a really loud water drip, like it dripped into a bucket. Oh, like you're hearing a sound. But I can't, there's no, no air that drips water. Can you make that noise again, that water drip noise?
slip behind me. Well, directly behind me, that corner. This corner. Yeah. Okay. So what I want you to do is to stare at the end of the pendulum and think to yourself, show me the sign for yes. And give it, you know, 15, 20 seconds and see if you can get a movement at all. And it might move side to side, left to right, round in circles, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Think, show me the sign for yes and wait to see a strong movement. Right, it looks like Tom, I would say, like seeing the shadow on the wall, what <laughs> Chris is doing. So... Mine goes like clockwise. Okay. Back and forth. All right, so now say stop, stop, stop. Stop. And hopefully wait for it to stop. And then say, show me the sign for no, and hopefully we'll get a distinct difference. It's going in a circle? Yeah, yours is now going anti-clockwise. Yeah. And all you've got to do is not move it. That's all I'm asking you to do, to like, just not move. Tom's is literally not moving. So you got a yes, Tom, did you? I got a yes, hold on, hold on. Show me this now for yeah. And, oh, and straight, away, so much. straight away, I can see by Tom's shadow that it will move in a bit. Now, ask a question like how many fingers I'm holding up. Be on my back. Uh, me ask it. Hmm? How many fingers is Chris holding up? And now you'll say to yourself, is it one? Is it two? You know what I mean? Go through the. Yeah. It's doing something. What are you asking it in your head? One. So what's that saying? Yes or no? Yes. No, I'm sorry, it was two. <laughs> How's it moving so much? So you would say you're not in control of that? Definitely not. I must say your hand doesn't seem to be, but tiny muscle movements get exaggerated the longer the pendulum is. However, that the moving it isn't really what I find fascinating. The thing is, if no matter what's moving it, you can get good answers out of things you shouldn't know the answer for, yeah. then it becomes interesting. So even yeah. let's say it is you mind, minutely moving it, that doesn't matter. So it gave you a yes answer, and it gave you a no answer. Mm -hmm. So let's try it again. Let's think, you don't know how many kids I've got, right? No. So, ask it, how many kids has Chris got? Is it none? And wait for a response. Is it one? You know what I mean? Is it two? Is it... Yeah. So you're on time. So, you try and douse. How many kids does Chris have? Chris has two. Chris has two kids. Yeah. Does Chris have one? Are you suggesting a number in your head? Okay. No, no. Hide, hide your fingers from her. No, no. Put your fingers up. Okay. Oh, we're doing the fingers. Hmm. Yeah. How many fingers is Tom holding up? Mannequin. I think you have to suss out who murdered him or something. Like that. That pe Why would Queen Victoria have a watch like that on? Is that Queen Victoria? Oh yeah. Um, we were doing <laughs> pendulum work, and uh, Chrissy was like really good with it. Good. Getting my mother's name right and how many kids I had and. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Oh, How many maybe? Twelve hours? You've got twelve hours. 
Okay. I got my bra strap pinged. Did you? By, I don't Is know. That room? Yeah. And then that? like sick actually. I got. I would get into the burping stage. You know when you're like, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. What? I'm, I'm gonna be sick. What? Sick. What? Someone just moved there. Yeah, I heard it. Someone just went behind you, went, shoved that, and fell it. You know why? Like, someone shuffled behind you. I heard it. It's on your, on your recording. Well, we've had some great activity tonight and hopefully we're going to come back as a team only, less people and get more chances to find things. Activity actually picked up as the night went on and the energy grew. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah.